Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. It's about 4.30 on Wednesday, November 9th. I am uh, heading home. I was hoping to get out about 30 minutes an hour ago, but work got pretty busy. But I'm heading home now. I'm going to pack up and head out to the property. I'm really pumped. I've been seeing some awesome bucks out on my cameras. So really excited. I've seen some hogs too. So hopefully uh, get some action this time around and uh, can get a, a deer on the ground. I'm wearing my uh, serious archery uh, polo here for good luck. Uh, hopefully that means I'll be able to put an arrow through uh, a deer this weekend. And um, I'm excited because the weather is going to be awesome. It's going to be cold. Uh, not what I'm used to, but it'll be great for uh, the deer getting up and moving. Um, there's a cold front coming in. It'll be about 30 degrees or so for most of the trip. So Hopefully that means I'll uh, have a little bit more deer activity and get my first deer on the ground. All right guys, just got to the barn. It's about 9.30, 10 o'clock, um, unpacked and getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go work on my bike. I'm gonna try and move uh, the bow mount where I have it currently. It's kind of in the way and I can't actually hit the brakes. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can fix that and do that tonight. And I may take my bike out in the morning. If not, I'm going to walk out to my spot. But the morning's supposed to only be like 65 or so, so not really cold yet. There's some rain coming in tomorrow night, and that's bringing in the cold front where it's going to be in the 30s. So I'm going to go out and sit in the morning, seeing some uh, smaller bucks, seeing a couple big bucks here. The wind should be perfect. Um, if a doe comes out early, I'll probably try and take out a doe just to make sure I get some meat in the freezer. We'll just see how it goes. All right, so this is kind of my current setup on the bike. So I can hold my bow up there, but I can't really fit my hands here and, and get the brakes, especially when my bow's on there. Just gets in the way. Um, so I was trying to hold on to the handlebars here and ride like that, but it just wasn't working that well. So I'm gonna actually flip these around and point them forward. I'm gonna try and mount a PVC pipe across the two bars, and then I'll mount this on the PVC pipe. So it'll stick out a little bit further out here and then I can still have full access to the brakes. So we'll see how that works. I screwed in the PVC across the handlebar so I can now get my hands in here to change gears and hit the brakes. I added a seat cushion because this was fairly uncomfortable. And then I added a flashlight mount I can put up here and turn on. So not sure if I'll take it out in the morning. Uh, I may want to ride it around a little bit tomorrow midday and uh, see how I like it first and make sure the bow is on there nicely. But I think this will help me get to the stand a little bit quicker and a little bit quieter. Morning, guys. It's November 10th. It's about 5.15 in the morning. Just got up, checked the wind, still got a south wind. So I'm gonna go head out to Duck Pond. And uh, there was a forky out there last night um, we've got a full moon, so not too much seemed to move around. That's the only pictures I got. So uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, action right around 6.30. Official sunrise is 6.56, so I can shoot at 6.30. So uh, hopefully, you know, the wind's right and I get something to show up here in the morning and get something on the ground. Well, we're back at the barn. It's about 9.30, 10-ish. Didn't see anything. Uh, when I walked out there, uh, there was a deer at the feeder already. I didn't know that the light that I have out there should get brighter when something's around there, and it wasn't. Didn't get any hits on my camera, um, so maybe it was just walking up. But uh, she blew and took off, and then never really saw anything uh, but a raccoon. So another unsuccessful hunt, unfortunately, but uh, we have a cold front moving in tonight with some rain so i'm hoping that uh the deer will be out and moving this afternoon all right so i just got back to my stand it's about three o'clock i went ahead and biked out here and i was parking about 100 yards away from the feeder i got off and i look up and there's one of the bucks just on the trail staring right at me um don't know if i would have actually shot him uh probably worth leaving him another year but he was just sitting right there stared at me for about five seconds turned around and took off um so not the best start but 
let's hope one of the bigger guys shows up tonight and I can maybe put him on the ground or maybe a doe will show up and I'll just get some uh, some meat in the freezer.
felt like a good shot and put it where I think I wanted it. I'll have to go back and look at the footage real quick, but there seemed to fly fine when it hit. I couldn't tell if it went through. I couldn't tell if it went through the deer or maybe when she took off, she, she broke it and it popped out, but it didn't feel like it went all the way through which worries me a little bit, but I'm going to go down while I have a little bit of light and then just look at the arrow and see what it looks like. All right, so what I saw is I did get a pass through. The knock uh, popped out with my zinger fletching, and so that's what I saw pop out. I found the... Uh, the knock, obviously, and about 10 yards away, I found the arrow. I don't see a ton of blood on the ground. Um, on the arrow, I definitely see some meat, which is a little bit to be expected. She was kind of quartering towards me. Um, unfortunately, the video, I had a, a tree blocking the way, so I don't think I got the best footage. I'm going to mark this spot here. I think I'm going to go back, give her at least... 30 minutes, an hour, maybe more, and then maybe try and come out here with a flashlight and see if I can track her a little bit, but I'm gonna go see if I can blow up the video on my computer and see how it looks. Well, I just wanted to give you all an update. I'm back at the barn, uh, watched the footage back. It actually ended up looking like a high shot. She dropped a ton. I mean, it's this is probably the most I've seen a deer drop. I think I actually hit her on her way back up from dropping so looked high maybe a little forward you know again the arrow had meat on it no guts it had a little bit of uh, dark red blood on the back of it so it didn't look like a lung hit uh, so I ended up calling a dog tracker that's about 40 minutes away super nice guy I sent him the video um, kind of told him how it went down he gave me a call back and after he watched the video and he thinks that it hit above the spine in that front section where the spine starts to drop down. So he thinks it hits right there in that kind of tenderloin area and that uh, she'd still be alive. He said he'd come down and track if I wanted to, but he didn't think it was worth it. So I may go walk around tomorrow and see if I can find any blood or anything out there, but it sounds like the deer's probably gonna live and unfortunately just was not the best shot placement and you know, I'll learn from it, so. We're going to head out again tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to a different spot because the wind's going to flip tonight. We're expecting a cold front and some rain coming in. So uh, hopefully uh, we get something out there and, and can actually get something on the ground.